Hello, my name is CSC and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to maintain a bond in old school RuneScape. Before the video starts, consider subscribing for future uploads, thank you. Tip number 1. Buying beer tank cars. You can expect to get around 500 to 700k GP per hour, but realistically I would say that 500k per hour is achievable. To be able to do this method, you will need to, to do quests, troll stronghold, that plateau, the Fremenic Trials, started the Giant Dwarf quest, Fremenic Diary Easy. The only thing you need to do is to buy beer tank cards and sell them to Grand Exchange. Simple as that. Tora the barkeep in the Relica Long Haul Bar sells the beer tank cards for 26 to 52 GP per tank card. The tank cards have no practical value. Their value is exclusively a function of demand by collectors and speculators. This method purchases beer tank cards from the shop and deposits them via peer to seer in the Relica Square. Approximately 100 inventories per hour are possible. Your tank cards are not selling in grind exchange, just lower the price a little bit and wait for them to sell. Don't be in a rush. Tip number 2. Collecting Mortmire Fungi. You can expect to get around 1 million GP per hour doing this. Items needed are Silver Sickle Blast or equivalent, Mauritania Legs 3 or 4 strongly recommended, Draymon Stuff or Lunar Stuff recommended for banking, requires partial completion of Fairy, fairy Tale 2, Cure a Queen. Armor if player has low defense. You will need to complete these quests. Preston Peril, Nature Spirit, pair partially, Fairy Tale 2, Cure a Queen, partially as well. And for your inventory you will need one prayer potion, four those, Ring of Dueling and teleport to your house. Strongly recommended to have in your house fairy ring and rejuvenation pool. Collecting Mortmire fungi is very, 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 guys, very profitable as it is a, the secondary ingredient for making super energy potions. As long as you have completed the Heart Mortenia diary, you will receive double the amount of the fungi when collecting. Mortenia X3 and 4 do not have to be worn. However, make sure there are at least two inventory spaces when collecting, otherwise, yours will only receive one fungus. Casting Bloom affects rotting objects in the 8 squares around you and consumes between 1 to 6 prayer points. You should use a location surrounded by 3 rotting logs to increase the chances of obtaining Mortmire Fungus. There is a 4 log spot south of Port Phasmatis as shown in the image. While using this spot with an adequate prayer level, it is unlikely that you will need a prayer potion. First use the fairy ring network to teleport to BKR, run west until you see 3 rotting logs, stand in the middle of 3 rotting logs and cast bloom. Mortmire fungi will not spawn every time, always pick the northern log, last because when picked you will return to the middle, removing the need to click back. After a full inventory use the fairy ring to bank in Xanaris and repeat. If you have less than half prayer points after banking, drink a dose of prayer potion. With Heart Mortania Diary, Rejuvenation Pool and Fair Ring in your house, you can expect to get around 1 million GP per hour which is really great guys. Tip number 3. Casting Super Glass Make with Giant Seaweed. You can expect to get around 800k GP per hour with this method. Items needed are Smoke Battle Staff or Tome of Fire plus Staff of Air. Astral runes, 18 buckets of sand and 3 giant seaweed each inventory. Request in Lunar Diplomacy because we will be using spells in Lunar Spellbook. For your inventory you will need to have 18 buckets of sand, 3 giant seaweeds and 2 astral runes. Of course bring more astral runes because you won't be making only one inventory. The super glass make lunar spell can instantly turn your, an inventory full of sand and seaweed or giant seaweed into molten glass. On average it will make 1.3 glass for every sand seaweed pair or up to 1.6 glass per sand with giant seaweed. With moderate focus 600 cast per hour is achievable, with up to 850 being attainable at peak efficiency. This works out to around 100k to 153k crafting and 46, 800, 66,300 magic experience per hour. We draw 80 sands and 3, three giant seaweed. Close the bank, activate the spell and then bank a few ticks before the end of the animation. For the best rates ignore any dropped glass as this will still yield 0.15 extra molten glass per bucket of sand compared to regular seaweed. Tip number 4. Buying monkey nuts you can expect to get around 700 kgp per hour doing this. 
For items you will need 50,000 GP, recommended, weight reducing clothing, stamina potions, optional of course, apatol teleport, standard, recommended if using stamina pool in POH. For quests you will need monkey madness 2, footstall carry monkey nuts between 3 and 14 GP each, located just west of a bank, makes it very easy to buy out 200 nuts in stock. Solihib will only trade you if you have a Monkey Grigri equipped, which only requires partial completion of Monkey Madness 1. However, to access the island bank, you must have completed Monkey Madness 2 quest, also removing, removing the need of a Grigri. These nuts are only used in paying a gnome to protect your spirit tree, making the price of this delectable highly unpredictable. Tip number 5. Tanning Red Dragon Hide. You can expect to get around 500k GP per hour. For items, you will need 10 million plus GP is recommended of course guys you can do it with a lower amount but it will be more frustrating but yes you can do it but my recommendation is 10 million GP weight reducing clothing energy potions optional and of course red dragon hides no quests or skills are needed the red dragon leather is used to train crafting and it is always in high high demand because red dragon hide must be tanned into leather before it can be crafted Tanning the hides in bulk can be highly profitable. Because the price difference between hides and leather can be fairly small, it is important to buy the hides for a low price and sell the leather for a high price. You can lose out on up to 50% of the profit you are not patient. Test the profit by buying one red dragon hide and one red dragon hide leather. If the difference between the two is less than 200, it may be worth to switch to green, blue or black dragon hide. To create red dragon leather, red dragon hide must be taken to a tanner. Ellis in Alcarid is the quickest tanner and there's no requirements to use him. Withdraw 27 red dragon hides from the bank south of the tanner and 20 coins for each hide you want to tan. Run north into Ellis building and right click trade Ellis. Tan them all and run back to the bank. Each run takes approximately 25 seconds while running and 45 seconds while walking. This averages out to about 2800 heights tanned per hour, yet a player can tan around 2000 heights every hour without the use of energy or stamina potions. I hope these tips will help you to maintain your old school runescape bond and as always guys, have a nice day.